Hello, and welcome to another edition of CUDAcasts. In this video, I will show you a new Linux debugger feature called Software Preemption, which is supported in Insight, Eclipse Edition, and CUDA GDB starting with CUDA 5.5 and devices with compute capability 3.5 or higher. This feature enables single GPU debugging, which means you can now debug your Linux CUDA applications on the same NVIDIA GPU that is running your active desktop. In addition, Multiple debugger sessions can debug CUDA applications simultaneously on a single NVIDIA GPU. I'm going to run device query to show you that I have a single NVIDIA GPU in my system, a GeForce GT640, and its compute capability is 3.5. When launching a debug session in Inside Eclipse Edition, it will automatically detect if your device supports software preemption. After enabling this feature in Insight Preferences menu, when your program hits a breakpoint in the device code, as we can see it does here in the matrix multiplication example, the GPU will be made available so that your desktop or other graphics and CUDA applications can run. For example, while sitting at the breakpoint in the matrix multiplication code, I can run the Fluids GL CUDA sample. I can also now switch to another Insight window and start debugging another copy of the matrix multiplication sample. You see we hit another breakpoint in the device code. I can switch back to the original Insight window, disable my breakpoints, and then run to completion. Same thing in this Insight window, disable my breakpoints and run to completion. And now remember that this whole time the GPU has also been driving my active display and running the Fluids GL sample. So, switching between debug sessions, single stepping, and resuming each application are all fully supported on Linux with CUDA 5.5 and a GPU with compute capability 3.5 or greater. Thanks for watching this edition of CUDAcasts.